time to check out what projects I have completed from my stash in the month of January. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello, my name is Julie. You are watching Treasures Made From Yarn and this is the video for Stash Down 2023 and also Shop My Stash 2023 because now I'm gonna show you all the projects I did in January from my stash I had before the end, of, before the start of this year. So Stash Down 2023 is hosted, or at least it was her ideal, by Queen's Craft and Crochet by Bridget. So, and also the Shop My Stash is also, I got that ideal from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. So both these hashtags work for this video. So now I'm excited to show you what I have done for you. So I'm gonna grab my notes to show about what these weigh and how much stash I went through. I have my notes to show about what, because I weighed most of my projects here. I think the first thing I got done is this simple bag. And it, I guess the handle goes through the knot and I use one whole skein of premier cotton. So this whole skein went into it, so that's a 10.5 ounce ball. Let's see what we have next. So I had a whole skein went into these next two projects. This is a bucket hat by Bago Day. Bucket hat itself weighed, let me check my notes, 2.6 ounces. And this is, I did a video tutorial on how to do this shawl. So this is a Salomon knot grid scarf. What I had left over from the hat went in to the scarf. All right, well, I'm, a, I, okay, I was good. I saved labels from the yarn cake so I can show you the ounces in that. So, but anyway, the yarn for this is, was also like this one, a cloud cakes. And that is a 7.1 ounce ball. So the entire ball went into the bag of day hat and the scarf, like I mentioned before. And that, let's see, I think the hat itself weighed 2.6 ounces and the shawl weighed 4.3 ounces. So that's one full skein for this hat and the scarf. Alright, you probably, if you've been to this channel a while, you've seen this skirt. I am not sure, okay, I'm not sure if I get the whole skirt in here. Skirt. Okay, I hope you got it. I started the skirt in December, so I'm not sure if this counts for a shop your stash or a stash down, but I did finish this in January. And most of the skirt was the Meowth yarn. It was a McDonald bonus bundle. But to make it longer, I went into another ball or another cake of Mandela, which I don't have the label anymore. I think it was called Dragon. So the bottom couple rows of this skirt went into, okay, the couple rows of the skirt came from the smaller ball of Mandela. So the skirt itself came in at, okay, did I write, did I write down? Okay. Oh yeah, this, there it is. The skirt was like 15 ounces, 15.4 ounces of yarn went into this skirt. So I'm going to show you the other projects that the Mandela, that Man Mandela, Cake of Mandela yarn, which was the dragon. It went into the hat along with another strand. This is a bag of day pattern, this hat. And the baby hat came in at 1.5 ounces. See what else I made with that yarn? 
Oh, I made this hat. It is a V-stitch hat and it is reversible. So I can turn it around and we have the other look. There's no pattern for this. I just totally winged it. I think I, st yeah, I started on this end and just was going to make a simple V-stitch hat. And then I got here. It's like, I still have plenty of yarn. So I just kept going and going and it just started decreasing on the other end. So, so this is a reversible hat. And since this hat is blue, I will probably, I will donate this hat to the Hat Not Hate organization. If you are not familiar with the Hat Not Hate organization, it is an anti-bullying campaign and they distribute blue hats to the schools around for sure the United States. I am not sure if they are worldwide. I think that is all I had with that yarn. And speaking of blue hats, here is another blue hat. It is a basic hat and this is also a bag o' day pattern. This hat came in, let's consult my notes, 2.1 ounces went into this hat. And I'm pretty sure the yarn was a Red Heart Super Saver Ombre yarn I had left over. Let's see what else I have. I have a couple dishcloths. Now, if you've seen one of my Michael's yarn haul video, in the clearance section, they had, it, it was in like, like only like an ounce. Matter of fact, this dishcloth only weighed in at, a, pretty sure, at one ounce even. Yep. They just had a long, long, long ounce of scrap yarn for like 75 cents. Got that. And I used all of that to make this linen stitch dishcloth. This other dishcloth, I have a tutorial on this. It is the it is a bumpy. I don't remember the name of my own pattern. The, it's like the bumpy stitch. It's the bump. I think I just call it a bumpy dishcloth because it has this bumpy texture on it. Some scrap cotton yarn went into making this, and that came in at 1.4 ounces of this. Yeah, I don't got that much more left. Okay. I'm not sure if I can count both of these socks for the month of January. I got one sock done in January. And I finished the second one early this month, like like the second or the oh, let's see, today is the fourth. The I'm recording this on the fourth. And it was done, yeah, I think I got this done on the third. So if you count both these socks, sock came from the Croy sock yarn. I have some left and 2.4 ounces went into both of these socks. Or if we're just gonna count the one sock, it's only one and a half. So those are those socks and I, I'm not sure what's going to come out first, this video. No, the sock tutorial is going to come out almost the same time as this video. So I will have the tutorial out, or I should have it out for these socks. So if you knit socks, or if you want to venture into knitting your first pair of socks, check out this tutorial. And then, of course, the last thing I have though not completely done yet but part of it done the whole month of January if you've seen my temperature blanket video the update I did recently here is January's blanket I don't know if you can see it all again full disclosure on this one I cast it off the first end. Okay, that's the bottom. I casted it off in beginning February, but that's part of the temperature blanket for January. 
So I hope you check out the video that shows the update on the blanket. And that is all the completed projects I got going on. Of course, I have the crochet temperature scarf that will be ongoing and that won't be done until the end of the year. So that is it. That is everything. Oh, I suppose I can show you what I have left in my stash. All right, this here is still all my Chanel stash. Most of it I won in a giveaway from Lace Crochet. So majority of it is the Dollar Tree. Oh, that's starting to come out. Most of it's the Dollar Tree Chanel yarn and there's some other Chanel yarn in here. It's a gray frame. I got those and I think those came out of a mystery box I bought off Etsy. This is cotton thread yarn. I don't use thread that often, so I'm not sure how well that's going to get used. It might be like a two strand together type thing. I don't know. I don't know. I just have that yet. This is all the ongoing crochet temperature scarf project going on. So all the yarn for that is in this basket. All right, I have the cloud cakes. That is now a whip that I just started. It's gonna be a blanket, scarf, whatever. I'm gonna use all the yarn and it's the linen stitch. Most of the yarn in this bucket is for my Knitted temperature blanket. Got some big cakes in here. This yarn I think I have in here is cotton or yarn I tend to make baskets out of. You see in there is cotton. Got this Eco Naturals from a Michael's yarn haul. But yeah, almost everything in this basket is cotton. All this in here is acrylic yarn. Armchair Chef has, every month, has her mystery yarn challenge. And I might, some of this yarn in here, I might be sending away to a lucky recipient for the mystery yarn challenge. Which also means I'm going to get new yarn back. So, this basket here also has some acrylic. I have some cotton cakes. And there's a big anniversary cake in there. Or, oh, it's Scarfy. I have that in there. Oh, and then in here, I still have the little bon bonbons I got for Christmas. You know, the little, the little balls. I have some sock yarn. And I think this is a wool blend type yarn I got at Michael's. Natural mall. It has wool in it. And finally up here in my stash, I guess is some more odd and edge yarn. Got some one weight yarn. I don't know what that is. Some more cotton yarn. Some other more acrylic yarn in here. I have, okay, I still have more. That's for the temperature blanket. Oh, that's the Caron cakes I showed you in early in the video to get the idea that I used a skein of these. Let's see. Oh, and I have this yarn. I have four of these in here. I think. Oh, sorry, I dropped that. Have that yarn yet? I think I'm gonna do sock more sock tutorial with this yarn. And in here are my scraps. That's in there. And everything in this scrap pile is from what it would become from my stash and from 2022. So that's all I have left in my stash for this past all year. Right, that is it. That's all I have. Just a short video. Make sure you do check out my sock tutorial or any of my other crochet and knitting tutorials. 
other videos I have coming up, I should have a boxing of the Mystery Yarn Challenge hosted by Armchair Chef. That is coming up. Also, there'll be future unboxing of yarn that I get and how that project goes out. Other, I'll have obviously my weekly work in progress video slash finished object video. If you did like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I want to thank you as always for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye now.